Consumer Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Packaging company Nampak invited media to its glass manufacturing facility earlier this month to highlight its improved operational efficiencies, which has taken its glass business from red to black in recent months. David Oliveira tells us more. Despite reporting a 76 million rand loss for its glass business in 2015, packaging company Nampak has since July last year recorded seven consecutive profitable months owing to improved sales and operational planning processes as well as key operational excellence interventions, thereby leading to greater operational efficiencies. NAMPAC CEO Andre De Reiter told media at a visit of the company's glass manufacturing facilities in Germiston that the glass division had been losing money following the commissioning of the third furnace in 2014, prompting NAMPAC to overhaul significant elements of the operation, including the divisional leadership team. NAMPAC MD Peter van den Berg, who joined the glass business in September 2014, has more. It was critical to stabilize the workforce and make sure that we appoint the right people in the right areas. We did uh, restructure our directorship of the company in order to make sure that we focus on all the critical areas. And then we also uh, made sure that the people actually enjoy coming to work. He added that through a number of initiatives aimed at improving operational efficiencies, the division has significantly reduced its monthly glass manufacturing break-even point depending on the product mix and campaign build parameters. To help improve the company's glass manufacturing capacity, the company invested 1.2 billion rand into a 400-ton furnace, Furnace 3, which has increased Nampak Glass's manufacturing capacity by 56%. The new furnace was commissioned in late 2014, which Van den Berg highlights was a trying time for the division owing to manufacturing disruptions. The furnace testing and corrective interventions were ongoing and forming equipment installed on the new furnace showed severe capability constraints, further compromising manufacturing and output capability, and these therefore had to be replaced with proven alternatives. NAMPAC currently operates three furnaces, each with three forming lines with double gob and triple gob capabilities. Triple gob capability has allowed the division to increase output on a forming line in excess of 500,000 units a day. Gob refers to the molten glass before it is formed into a glass product. Nampak Glass's current manufacturing capacity is 285,000 tons a year. Nampak, in, uh, in the beginning days, we had two, uh, two furnace operations, so we, we service all the customers on the two furnaces, so that meant quite a few job changes, quite a few process color changes, which impacted on the efficiencies of the plant. With the addition of a third furnace, we could then dedicate our furnaces. So you'll see as we walk through the plant that uh, Furnace 2 is now dedicated to Flint and Furnace 3 is about 90% dedicated to, to Emerald, which services the, the beer and the fab market. Uh, spirits are still on Furnace 2 and food, and Furnace 1 is in your flex furnace, which supports our wine strategy. The strategies employed by the company have significantly improved its pack to melt rate, from record lows of between 40% and 50% in 2014 to exceeding 85% currently. Pack to melt refers to the amount of glass placed on a pallet relative to the amount of raw materials that have been melted. The higher the pack to melt, the greater the efficiency. The director noted that the company was able to make the turn to profitability by focusing on the right strategies and manufacturing philosophy, focusing on operational excellence, safety and discipline. At this stage we are looking forward to a, a good 2016. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.